that is something, you know, and I, I have struggled with this for years. And I don't go out in my show and intentionally try to offend. No. I don't believe that. that would be I know stupid. some people who do. That would be, they I, think I that's that edgy. They mm. think that's, you know, cutting edge material. That's dumb. But I go out just to have some fun. And every now and then I'll get somebody that will do that. I'll, I was offended. And I look at them and I go, I'm offended that you're offended. Have a nice day. And they look at me like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know, they don't know what to say to that. And and I keep going. I don't I don't spend five seconds on them. Yeah. I don't. I got over that. And you gotta get over that if you're gonna do anything in this business. Or it'll drive it'll literally drive you to drink. It yeah. will. It will. Speaking of which, let's go get something to drink. <laughs> I think we need a latte. Oh, I was thinking, no, I'm a her. Um, <laughs> you build and rebuild classic cars. Yes. Maybe a lot of the people here don't know about that. So tell us a little bit about how you or how you got involved in that and how that maybe interchanges with your, your event career and, and how you work your, your performance schedule around your shop schedule. Well, I started that as a kid. My father was a welder. People would bring in their cars and say, I need this all welded up. My dad would say, hey, boy cut that all out, clean that all up, make all the new pieces to go in there. And my dad would come in and weld it all up, and he'd go, now clean that all up and paint that all up and put it all back together. They're coming to get the car. And we'd put it all back together, and then my dad would get paid all the money. <laughs> and my, my brother and I would kind of look at each other, and we'd go up to my dad and go like, hey, hey, like that. My dad would look at us and go, you boys uh, got a place to sleep? You got clothes on your butt? Did you get fed today? Shut up and get back to work. And that's how we grew up. And so at about 10 years old, we started cutting cars apart and putting cars back together. And I'm only good at two things, and that's comedy and cars. And so <laughs> it's just something I have always done and something I've enjoyed to take a pile of old rusty junk and create a $100,000 beautiful machine. And that's just so much fun. It's, a, it's another creative outlet that I have. And I... I tell everybody, if you want me to redo your car, plan on two years and about $100,000, and I work on it when I'm not working on the road. So don't expect to call me every day and go, how much you got done? I might not have anything done. I might be out on the road for two weeks. Who knows? And so I'll put two or three cars in the shop, and I'll work on them when I can and work on them when I feel like it. And then I go on the road and do my shows, and when I come back, I need a break from the shows. I get tired of doing the shows. I get tired of always being on and always, you know. And I go to the shop, and I, I totally unplug from all that and put all that behind me, and I work on the cars. And then I get where I need a break from the cars, and I get an itch to get back on stage, and we go again. <laughs> <laughs>